Hi, I'm John. And I'm Tony. Welcome to Trailer Reviews, where we talk about movies based solely upon the previews we've seen. That's right. The movies are not in the theater yet, but we're here to review the preview. And first up is Transformers. Guaranteed to be a summer blockbuster hit. Yeah. This preview has shown us everything we like to see. It's got cool graphics, awesome explosions, lots of action, and Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. LaBeouf is loose, baby. I mean, how can you not love this kid? He's in just about everything, great actor, and it's like he's channeling the spirit of a young Ralph Macchio. God rest his soul. Ralph Macchio's not dead. But uh, the CGI graphics in this movie, back to the preview, are awesome. The robot's totally real. I guess. You don't like the graphics? Well, I, I like them okay. It's just that I thought it'd be really neat if they went old school, like they did with the old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, and had big tall dudes wearing foam rubber outfits for the robots. Wouldn't that be cool? Box office hit, but that would have been horrible. Well, okay. That says you. But what about the sound effects? What about the sound effects? They have sound effects. Not what I'm used to hearing. I mean, I'm used to, in the cartoon, hearing a very definitive sound when the Transformers change, like... <coughs> mm. Where's that? Harsh. And we won't be hearing that sound in the movie, but uh, check yourself for a hernia as we get back to the previews. Uh, there's a cool scene that I've been seeing where Shayla Booth is at the, the used car lot buying a car from Bernie Mac. And that car ends up being Bumblebee. No, I don't think so. That's not Bumblebee. It is Bumblebee. Now, Bumblebee is a classic VW Bug, remember? That car is not a VW Bug. He was when we were playing toys, but they've updated some things for this movie, and he's now a Chevy Camaro. Well, that bites. I, I hope they haven't updated one of my other favorites, Jazz. I mean, why would you change a Porsche? They've updated Jazz. He's now a uh, Pontiac Solstice. Oh, my gosh. Well, how much have they updated Leader One? Yeah, Leader One was a GoBot. Yes, and he rocks. Anyway, they, uh, you'll be happy to know they haven't updated everything. Optimus Prime, still the same big rig. Oh, that's good. They brought back the original voice actor from the original Transformers movie. Oh, Very cool. cool. That is cool. And you know what else is cool? I heard that Agent Smith from The Matrix is going to do the voice of Megatron. That's right. Uh, Hugo Weaving. Yeah, check it out. I bet we'll hear this. Mr. Optimus. That's pretty good, huh? Yeah, we won't be hearing that in the movie. Well, okay, let me, let me try again. Mr. Optimus. Better? Getting better. Yeah. Uh, back to the preview. All right, fine. Uh, back to the preview. I've seen a brand new preview. You probably haven't even seen it yet. It's so new. Where there's a transformer that's been updated into a Ford Pinto. Pinto. Yeah. It has to be the most horrible transformer ever. No, his name is Beanie. Beanie the and Pinto. there's a scene where the Autobots have just won a decisive battle and Optimus Prime is kind of rallying the troops. And he says, good work, Beanie. Hit the showers. And he kind of... Gives him a little pat on the rear bumper, oh. and Beanie explodes because he's a pinto. Yeah, that ratchet couldn't even say. Not a scene like that in the movie. But uh, <clears throat> moving on, this is what we like to call scenes we'd like to see. Right. We haven't witnessed this in any of the previews, but hey, we don't know that it's not in the movie. Could be in the movie. Bumblebee, report. Optimus Prime, I think we have a problem down here on the planet. Explain. The humans are charging $3.25 for a gallon of gasoline. Is that super premium grade? No, Prime, that's the problem. It's regular unleaded. Son of a clutch. And see. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, review of the preview of Transformers. Yeah, look for the real movie in theaters everywhere July 3rd. And watch out for that Shia LaBeouf. I'm telling you, he's going to be the next James Bond. Or Brian Bonsall. <laughs>